everyone welcome back this is day 19 of rtl design and verification series in the last three sessions we are seeing fsm so we are going in detail of how actually the final state machine will be written for a sequence detection so in 17 and 18th day we have seen 1010 sequence detector that is using more machine we have seen how the verilog code is written for overlapping and non overlapping sequence so in today we are seeing again 1010 sequence detection but we will be using a melee sequence detector here so we are seeing both non overlapping and overlapping case in this session so the problem statement is we will be having a continuous stream of data like this whenever c1010 we need to detect that and output should be 1 right here we will be having twice 1010 so output will be two ones whenever we see 1010 to detect these four bit of data we require four states here in a melee machine in a more machine we have seen five states we used five states right why because in more machine the output will be depend on the current state not on the input so to decide that output we require one more last state as fifth state here in a melee machine we will be writing that output only when we are transiting from the fourth state to the other state let's say the output will also be depend on the input value and also the current state that's why here one state less we can have so this is the state table we will be having so if you have s not as a current state if my input is zero i need to stay in the next state as s not itself and always we need to write output here output also zero it means if you see the uh, state diagram you will come to know suppose let's say we will be having s not s1 s2 s3 states and my input is zero output also be zero you can see here while writing the arrow mark only we need to say the first value is input and we have not detected 1010 yet that's why we will be having output also zero whenever we detected one this first one when we are in s not we got one so we are moving to s1 now still output is zero now we are in s1 and we detected zero again the second bit so still output is zero we are going to s2 in case when we are in s1 if we detected one again we will be staying in the same state and output is zero that is what we are seeing here similarly when we are in s2 if we detect zero we are expecting the next value as one but if we see zero we will be come back to s naught and output is zero so in these arrow marks if we see two values the first value is input second value is output then after s2 if you see one this one is detected that's why we will be moving to the next state to see the next bit with output zero now the important thing here is when we are in s3 if we see s not as zero uh, let's say input is zero we need to have the output is equal to one and we will be writing this one not inside the state we will be writing at the arrow mark it means what whenever we see input zero and we are in state s3 we will be saying output is equal to one this avoids having one more state to say the output right so here melee state machine the output will be depending on the current state as well as the input comes right so this is what we detected 1010 that's why output is one suppose in case we have not detected the pattern correctly suppose let's say one comes here we need to go back to s1 s1 right this is what the state diagram is now we need to write a very lock code for that in a very lock code for four states we require four parameters let me name it as s0 s1 s2 s3 with different values 1 2 3 4 like that and to have a current state and the next state uh, i will be having 3 down to 0 as my uh, state and the next state here state indicating the current state next state is the next state which is going for and we will be having a sequential path here this sequential path indicating first we will be going with the uh, positive edge of clock or negative edge of reset representation here it means this design is sensitive to change in the clock or sensitive to change in the reset it means reset will happen irrespective of the clock right it is asynchronous reset and negative edge of reset we are writing means active low reset signal we have whenever reset is zero our state will be at s not and else if you are not in reset if you come out of the reset whenever the clock comes the next state will be assigned to the current state means the state change happens only when the clock comes and what we should do when we are in this current state let's say current state is s not current state is s1 current state is s2 current state is s3 what action we need to take 
that is a combinational path right so always at state or data in these are the inputs we have and if in case the state is s not we will be checking for the data input first so if data in is equal to 0 what we are doing here we need to say output is this and what would be the next state right that's why output is 0 next state is s not if we detected 1 as input so we need to say else it means data in we are checking as 1 and we say still output is 0 we are moving to s1 so we will be assigning that to next state variable this next state variable will be holding this s1 whenever the next clock comes it will be it will become a current state so we will be coming here right similarly here also we will be checking data in data in data in continuously and we say we should go to the next state or we should come back to the previous state or we should stay there and what is the output is we are doing that much here when we detected 1 0 1 0 comfortably this one is the output we are saying in s3 state you can see when we are in s3 we need to check the input we get input 0 then we say output is 1 the next state will be s0 right this detects a pattern 1010 as non overlapping case right if you observe the uh, test bench here the same test bench what i have used in the previous two videos i am using it here as well test bench not changes still we are detecting 1010 only and the same pattern i am keeping here that pattern becomes an input whenever we see 1010 we should get an output one here from the out variable right output port that is what just we are doing here and also we need to observe the next two values are again 10 if we consider the previous patterns 10 and again this 10 if you get an output here that becomes overlapping sequence we are not doing that we will be detecting that as a non overlapping case that's why in the next 1010 complete pattern appears we will be getting one as a result right now let's take overlapping case as our problem statement and let's design our sequence detector so again we will be we need to look for 1010 continuously we need four states so this becomes one pattern but the next two bits if you observe here also 10 and if you consider this 10 as well it becomes a overlapped pattern 1010 we need to detect that as well that is what our problem statement here is again we need four states the state table remains same except the last state s3 so if you look at the state diagram so s0 state same s1 state same s2 state also same uh, why because we need to detect till 1010 first here also s3 it will be we will be entering to s3 once we get the last zero you can observe here when we get the last zero see we say the output is one and where we are going we are not going to s0 if the uh, zero is detected we will be completing one set of sequence and in non overlapping case we will be moving to s0 to get the fresh 1010 next now after detecting this 0 we may get 10 again that's why we will be staying at s2 we are in s2 in the sense what we will be detected 10 already we are expecting another 10 that's why we are at s2 now this is the change we will be having in overlapping case right this is the change you can observe when we are in s3 we detected, detected the input 0 that completes one pattern output we are saying it as 1 still we are waiting for next 10 waiting at s2 in s2 if again 0 comes obviously we need to come to s0 if in case the pattern itself first pattern itself not detected means we got 1 as in place of the 4 bit we will come back to s1 right this is how we are going to do in the code also we will be changing only at place of s3 state if previously when we are at s3 state whenever we detected 0 we will going to s0 now we will be going to s2 right this is the only change we are supposed to change to expect the code to behave as overlapping sequence or non overlapping sequence now the test bench stays same test bench will not change the same test bench can be used to verify the overlapping case even non overlapping case even more state machine even meal state machine right the same test bench can be used here if you observe this one zero one zero giving us the result as one again it will consider the next one zero with this one zero pattern so one zero one zero is considered again one more one is going to be detected here means one more output one is 
we can see here. Similarly, here also we have 1, 0, 1, 0. We got output 1. By considering this 1, 0 and 1, 0, we will be getting one more output is equal to 1. So, four times we will be getting the pattern here as per the inputs what we have given. This is a overlapping case. In the previous example, we have seen non overlapping case. In the last two videos, we have seen more a machine with the same example 1010 0, 0, with overlapping and non overlapping case. This gives you the clear cut idea how, uh, how we are going to write a Miele state machine or more a state machine with overlapping case and without overlapping case. In the further videos, we will be seeing more concepts about Verilog and then we will be stepping into system Verilog. Thank you.